Toyota 1HDT throttle position sensor installation and adjustment. I'm replacing mine on this 97, 98, 80 series Land Cruiser with 1HDT from South America. The original sensor looks to be original and hence I'm replacing because I am having some issues with a shifting flare between two and three and there's a RPM drop and some hard shifting. So I'm taking a look at this here. The previous uh, throttle position sensor that was on this vehicle seems to have passed the test, but there are some random values that I just don't trust. So I am going to replace it. And uh, I just wanted to go over the procedure on how to do that. There's two, there's, there are two diagrams like this. The, uh, the one that's in the shot right now, you'll find one in the automatic transmission manual. And the one that you're looking at now is from the engine service manual. So the difference is the VC and the VTA, they're flipped. And it seems that a couple cross-referenced uh, posts on forum boards, as well as my testing, indicates that the one in the uh, on the screen right now is correct. So the one in the transmission manual is just backwards. And what you do is once you replace the sensor, there's a, an adjustment that you need to make. So you need a five volt source. You can see on the left side, hooked up the VC and E2. And you have a multimeter on the voltage setting, hooked up the VTA and the E2. And let me just show you what that looks like. So I have a five volt source generator here. So that can generate exactly five volts and I'm sending it to the pins uh, as outlined in the diagram. And then I have my multimeter hooked up right there to the other leads. The throttle position sensor, it lives on the forward part of the injection pump right there. Uh, zoom in, show you the part number, 89452360010. So I replaced mine again because I'm having some uh, shifting issues that I'm chasing and the sensor is, is uh, believed to be original to the vehicle. So I just want to uh, swap that out. The, the adjustment's easy. There's two screws, one and one on the other side. Loosen them up and then the throttle position sensor can turn. Once you have it loose, you start to follow this uh, instruction here to set it to 0 0.6 plus or minus 025 volts. And as you can see, I have mine set to 607 which is correct to what that indication is. Let me just show you the transmission manual. So the transmission manual has a little diagram here. So it actually covers 1FZ, FE. And this, the one that we're following is the 1HDT. And as you can see, the VC and the VA, they are, let's see if I get them in the same shot here. They're opposite of what, the engine manual tells you. So engine manual is on the left, transmission manual is on the right. And also the transmission manuals figure say it's supposed to be 0.96 volts fully open, whereas the engine manual says it's 0.6025. And that's what I'm tuning mine to. And I'll do a couple of test drives with that. The last part is when you are doing this adjustment, the throttle needs to be fully open. So you're basically opening it up. I have a clamp here. Uh, I've verified that that's the position it's gonna reach with the pedal, but that's the full max open position. And that translates with the rod and that goes into the into the pump and then the throttle position sensor chases it. So this is uh, how you install a new throttle position sensor, or you make an adjustment to the previous one that you've had back to service specs if you've had your pump rebuilt or you've maybe removed it or nudged it by accident.